Ah, people. He told me I will always love you. He told me I wish you would die. He told me a lot of things as the years flew by. He told me how beautiful I was every day. He told me how I was withering away. He told me he would never go away. He told me he couldn't deal with the real me. He told me day by day how much time he wasted being with someone like me. I gave him all I had. I gave him almost everything I could without giving him my death. I cannot justify his actions nor mine. In the heat of a moment, everything can change. Some words can never be erased. Some thoughts still loom above your head, and all those thoughts drift in and out of your day. How many years you shared the bliss, the compromise of another day. How you fought so hard for your love to stay. But nonetheless, your love left, but your memories, they they still replay. Deep down inside, it's not the knowing why. It's all the goodbyes as we age, as we turn the page, we start to see things differently. We try to understand from a different point of view. Was it him or me? Did I try enough? Did I do everything I could to keep you? Love. Love is a fool's game, a hostile environment of shame. We seem to always carry the pain. It seems to be the only way for me to feel, for me to feel that he was real. Moments, people. So many moments play on rewind. The good, the bad, the sad, the precious gift of a moment can truly break this heart in two. Devastation of the years denying what him and I just weren't meant to be. But what if? What if we just grew up differently? We were raised with different ideas and values and somewhere in between the abuse and youth made us see things at different times. Do you get me? What if I changed? What if he did? But both changed at a different time. Would we, could we, still be? Love. Love is a rare thing. It is also as desolate and as cold as a grave when it no longer resides beside you. How many years we shared. How many times I wept for that man. A gut-wrenching twist of that blade when he would go away. Or did I push him away? Because he didn't see like me. He couldn't find the key to unlock all of my mystery. As I said before, people evolve. They have to grow. In love, it's the letting go, letting them see, and hoping one day they find their way back to where they were always meant to be. So much damage, so many regrets. Can it be repaired? Can you stitch back the pieces of your fragmented heartstrings? I always ask myself, why would you want to go back to the screams and shouts, the heartbreak, those slammed doors, the bitter remorse? But I've seen, I've seen him crumble, I have seen him stumble, I have seen him rise, and I know of no other love that I want in my life. But this time, it's not that easy to say goodbye. I'm not sure I can hold what I have inside me down. Every time I try to rectify my forsaken love, I can't honestly tell myself that I no longer love him. I want to. I repeat that mantra in my head. I tell myself it's just the cold and short days, the long nights that wish him, that wishes for him to be here. It's just the way that the leaves are falling from the trees. You just need a warm embrace and you'll be okay. I don't think so anymore. I cannot continue to feed myself lies. I cannot continue to claim that I don't love that man of mine. But he is no longer with me. See, in my eyes, you can't just stop loving the one you love. You can try. You can try every day to drown your sorrows away, put on a brave face, and face each day with everything you have to do to get by. But needless to say, at the end of every day, it's his arms I want to reach for. It's a presence of him and where we began that still misses him. But his pride gets in the way, as I know. Or maybe he has given all he can and he really no longer loves me. That is the thing. Love, love is definitely a very high price to pay. There isn't enough money in the world to make another person love you. I wonder how many people die with a broken heart. 
How many people become bitter and diseased from letting their pride win? For not telling the ones who meant the most to them that all is forgiven and try to start again. Love and rare connections are hard to come by. They are life's biggest teaching. The funny thing is, we never take the time to remember the lessons that we receive. It's only after we lose, it's only after the blow that we can start to see things more clearly. So, my friends, I have said enough today. I have wrote down my trials and tribulations. Now, all I can say is take time, make time. Find a way to tell your other half or anyone you love. Tell them that you know what their worth is and how much value they hold. Don't wait. Do it now. Do it today. Blessed be.